in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan will have to flee. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Tory. Well, God bless you. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Mother Davis, Deacon Davis. God bless you, Mother Williford. Praise the Lord. Sister Domingo. God bless you, Pastor and Lady Alde. Good morning, Mother Morris. Good morning, Sister Petaway. Good morning, Dorothea. God bless you. Praying for you and your family. God bless you, Kimberly. God bless you, Sister Cleckley. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Lady Holden, God bless you, and Bishop Holden. Good morning, Sister Brenda. God bless you, Sister Coleman. Praise the Lord. Lashana, God bless you. Good morning, Brandy. God bless you, Elder Adams. God bless you, Marlette. Good morning, Sister Perry. God bless you, Sister Miriam. Good morning, Sister Hooten. God bless you, Jerron. Good morning, son. God bless you, Sister Jan. Good morning, Carly. Good morning, Mother Hudson. God bless you, Tracy. Good morning to you. Praise the Lord, Sister Saunders. God bless you, Sister Gray. Praise the Lord, Francine. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Hamilton. Hallelujah. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jan. God bless you, Sister Cleckley. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. To, good morning, Takia. Good morning, Sister Robinson Jacobs. God bless you, Katrina. Praise the Lord, Sister Hedrick. God bless you. Good morning to you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to see and to witness the manifestation of the blessings of God that come through prayer. God doing what we know he is able to do. And God just moving in our midst, God touching lives and changing hearts, all of that coming to us because of prayer, because somebody is praying and somebody is believing God and somebody is trusting God. God is indeed moving on behalf of people. And so as always, we just want to encourage each of you to trust God, to believe God, to follow the plan of God, knowing that God is able to bless and deliver lives. God is able to touch. God is able to strengthen. And there is nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing that God cannot do. I know that God is able. I know. I know that God is able. I know that God blesses. I know that God moves on in the lives of people. And so we just want to encourage you to continue to pray and to trust God. Whatever your need is, your situation is, to trust and believe God. If you have a prayer request, you can place it in the chat right now. You can add it to our prayer list. You can also send it by messenger. Um, 
through Facebook by Reginald Davis or Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can share it by simply putting it in the comment section or adding it um, to our prayer list by our, through our di direct message, which is um, RJ Davis SR. Or if you're on the conference call, and we apologize for joining you late, but we thank God for you. And you can text if you're on the conference call line, your prayer request 336-567-5358. And we ask everybody on the conference call to please mute yourselves so that everyone can hear um, unobstructed. Let's go to the word, everybody. And pray for me. You can hear my voice a little bit raggedy, but I'm going to get this word out. And God has something he wants to say to us today. You'll find this in the book of 2 Timothy once again. 2 Timothy chapter number 2 verses 1 through 4. 2 Timothy chapter number 2. And verses 1 through 4. Thou therefore, my son. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And I want to talk for just a few moments today from the subject once again, ready for battle, ready for battle. Conflict is a part of the life of the believer. I don't know if we tell people enough that if they're going to walk with God, serve God, and live for God, that they have to be prepared for conflict because there's an opposition to just your existence as a believer. Satan doesn't want anybody to be saved. He doesn't want anybody to live for God. He doesn't want anybody to walk with God. And so there's an opposition just from your walk. Just being saved is an opposition that comes from the enemy. When you add to that, those of us that want to be used of God and that are being used of God, that's a second conflict because Satan doesn't want you doing anything for God because anything you do for God will impact, they say, the satanic kingdom. He doesn't even want you to pray. Doesn't even want you to pray because he knows that when you pray, God moves. When you pray, God responds. When you pray, people are healed. People are delivered. And so we are in a conflict that will carry us from now until Jesus comes. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, demonic forces working to stop, working to hinder working to inhibit the work of God for our lives, doing everything possible to disrupt the work. Satan is literally sitting back. What else can I do to stop him? What else can I do to stop her? What else can I do to hinder what they are trying to do? That's the warfare that all of us are engaged in. And so Paul wants to encourage Timothy, first of all, to know what is the reality. Timothy, you are in a battle. Timothy, you are in a struggle. 
Timothy, you are dealing with so many forces from the enemy. And I need you, first of all, to share this word with everybody. He says this to us in verse two, to commit it to faithful men, commit it to people who are committed. Don't trust people with the word and don't trust people with the opportunity to minister if they indeed are not committed. If they're not committed, if they're not focused, if they don't have the mindset of perseverance, if they don't have the mindset to, uh, to, to go forward, they can't be trusted with the word. You know, if you can't be dependent upon to carry the word, to preach the word, to share the word, to minister to the word, then guess what? You cannot be trusted with the word of God because the word of God is a sacred trust. God empowered you, anointed you, refreshed you, touched your mind and heart so that you could carry this word of God. So you got to be trusted. And you've got to be trusted to carry it on to faithful men who will teach others, who will teach others. You have to have the capacity not only to know the word, but to share what you know with somebody else. That's the warfare. Ah, oh, Taye, that's the warfare. Satan doesn't want the message to get out. Satan doesn't want the message to get out. Satan doesn't want the word to get out. So he does whatever he can to hinder, to stop, to stifle, to, to stop the flow of God. To stop the flow of God. Whatever he can do. However he can do it. Whatever he can do to stop you from doing what God has called you to do. That's what Satan does. So he tells him, first of all, to endure hardness. As a good soldier, have the mindset to endure hardness. Stand up in the midst of circumstances. Don't allow yourself to be stopped from doing what God called you to do. If the enemy knows you can be stopped, there will always be something to stop you. And that's why my brother and sister, they, we don't hear this much anymore. You have to literally press your way. You got to press through affliction, opposition, storms, negativity, lies, confusion. You got to just press your way to do what God has called you to do. Press it. Move it. <laughs> Trust God to take you through it. Then he says, and this is the part I want to deal with with my time remaining. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. When a person signs up for military service, and this is not just 2022, this has always been that case for centuries on end. When you sign up for military service, you commit yourself to the service. You sign a contract or make a commitment or you're drafted and the army provides your food, the army provides your clothes, the army provides your lodging, the army provides your equipment. They do all of this so that you don't have to worry about how you're going to live because your life is the service. Your life is the branch of service for which you've signed up for. Sometimes if you have a family, they send what is called an allotment check. And that allotment check is designed to take the place of the lost income while you're in the service. The army provides health care. If you get sick, the army heals, um, sends you to the doctor, pays for the medication. The army takes care of all of your personal um, matters. Why? Because they want you focused. They want you focused on what? The service. They don't want you having to figure out what we're going to eat. They bring the food to you. It's called the mess hall. And all the soldiers go into the mess hall to eat. They don't have you worrying, where am I going to stay tonight? They have what's called the barracks. If you're out in, 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 in the field, they have the tents. And that's your lodging. 
So they provide for everything so that you don't have to worry about entangling yourself in other things. They don't want you consumed with other matters because warfare is your primary business. Warfare is what you do. Warfare is what you are committed to. And so you make the commitment that I'm going to be the soldier and the army makes the commitment to care for you. Because the army wants you focused. They don't want you in the foxhole trying to write checks to pay your bills. They don't want you in the foxhole trying to figure out where we're going to eat tonight. They don't want you on the battlefield trying to figure out what we're going to wear tomorrow. You know what you're going to wear. You're going to wear the uniform of the army because you've been chosen to be a soldier. You have been chosen to be a soldier. So Paul makes this principle that... No man warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. And this is the attack of the enemy. That he wants you fixated on other things beyond your assignment. He wants you consumed by this stress, that stress, this problem, that problem. Because when you're consumed with that, when do you have time to pray? When do you have time to minister? And, and, and that's why there has to be a persevering attitude. And I want to be clear about the fact that it doesn't mean that you don't handle your family, take care of your responsibilities, meet your obligations, but you cannot be so consumed in other stuff that you miss what God wants you to do. You cannot be so consumed in this problem, that problem, this affair, that affair, that you forget about what God has assigned you to do. Somewhere in the, somewhere, somewhere, you're going to have to find the courage, the strength, the faith to put aside some things and say, I'm going to trust God to deal with this so I can do the will of God. God wants you to be focused in what He has assigned you to do. And that's why. Anytime you have a divine assignment, the enemy is doing everything in his power to stop the assignment, to, to distract your mind. A lot of things that happen to us are distractions, distractions. The enemy simply trying to distract you from the will of God and the work of God. But you have to have the mindset that I can't get entangled with something that pulls me away from the battlefield. I can't get so entangled in this moment and that stuff and what's going on because I have to please the person who chose me to be a soldier. And I came to remind you that the bishop didn't choose you to be a soldier, that the missionaries of the church did not choose you to be a soldier, that the saints in your congregation did not choose you to be a soldier. Jesus Christ has chosen you to be a soldier. And because he's chosen you, to be a soldier, he wants you committed to the cause. He wants you committed to the warfare. He wants you committed to the battle. And so somewhere you have to press your way through whatever it is that you're going through. And trust me when I tell you, everybody is going through something. Everybody is dealing with something. Everybody is fighting something. Just because people continue, it doesn't mean that they don't have something going on. The devil is fighting everybody that has purpose and destiny. He's fighting everybody that has a call upon their lives. He's fighting everybody that the God that is trying to do something for God. He and, he's, and I know he's fighting you, but yet you can't get entangled. You've got to stay free so God can use you. And part of that freedom is learning how to cast your care upon the Lord. Learning how to give him the burdens. Learning how to trust him in the midst of whatever it is that is going on in your life. And saying, Lord, while I do your will, you fight for me. Lord, while I do your will, you keep me in my temptation. While I do your will, you strengthen me in the inner man. While I do your will, you help me to do what I have to do. God, so that you can be glorified in my life. Don't allow yourself to be entangled. Don't allow 
the affairs of this world to hinder you from the assignment because the goal is still please God. Please God. That's the goal. That's the goal. I want God to be pleased. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not trying to um, be adored by anybody. I simply want to please God. And I can't allow entanglements to tie me up so I can't do what God has called me to do. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you. I adore you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love, your kindness. Lord, you continue to show your favor to us in that you awakened us this morning to new mercies, to blessings, to grace, to new life, to a brand new day. And for that, God, we are indeed grateful to you. We are thankful that you brought us together one more time. And God, I give you the glory right now. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. Because you're so good to us, Jesus. Thank you for being good. Thank you for being merciful. Thank you for being so kind to us. And Lord, I bless your name. Thank you for my brothers and sisters who have joined us from all over the world. They've come to be a part of this prayer, this move of God. I thank you for their faith. I thank you for their consistency. I thank you for everybody on the conference call. Everybody, oh God, that's on Facebook. Everybody on YouTube. Everybody on Instagram. God, thank you for them now. And God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to bless them as only you can. God, give them what they need. Touch them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody's being distracted by something. But God, I'm praying now that you would remove the distraction so we can focus on the battle. We can focus on the warfare. We can focus, my God, on the fight. And we can take the fight to the enemy, God. Lord, cause us to understand your will for our lives. Cause us to walk in your plan and your purpose. Cause us to do what you have called us to do in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, don't allow us to be entangled today. Lord, I'm praying today for every name on the prayer list, every name in the prayer book, every person, oh God, in the chat, every unspoken request. God, we lift up before you now. God, I'm praying today for Howard, for Gloria, for Dee Dee, for Steve, for Karen, for Rasheen. I'm praying for the Watson family, the Dixon family. I'm praying for the Grimes family, the Wilson family, the Holt family. I'm praying for the Matthew children and grandchildren. I'm praying for the Russell family, the Whitley family, the Williams family, the Austin family. I'm, paying, I'm praying for Pedro Soto. I'm praying for the Caper family. I'm praying, oh God, for those hallelujah, who are adopting children. I'm praying for God, for Kimberly and DeAndre, for Antonio, for DeAndre Crawford Jr. I'm praying, my God, for Thomas Wiggs. I'm praying for Kenneth Perry. I'm praying, oh God, for Nikki. I'm praying for Justin. I'm praying for Denise McLean today, for Tommy, for Tamara. Oh God, I'm praying today for Nancy and Barbara. I'm praying for Mother Perkins today. I'm praying for the Robertson and Little Families. Everybody, God, that needs a blessing today. Lord, stretch out your hand. Lord, touch. Lord, deliver. Lord, heal. Lord, make whole because we know that you're able. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, touch today. Remember Charles and Devin and Siobhan. Remember Seanette. Remember Sarah. Remember Skylar. Remember Steve. Remember Joe, Patricia, Pauline today. God, in the name of Jesus, send your touch, oh God. Send your deliverance. Lord, destroy every yoke. Break every chain. Break every, oh God, fetter today. Day, and God send deliverance now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
God, I'm praying for the sick today, everywhere. God, I'm lifting up Sister Deborah Gordon today. God, that you would touch her body. God, that you would bring recovery and healing to her now. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for Deacon Wilson today. I'm praying, my God, for everybody that's sick this morning, that you would stretch out your hand of healing today. God, remember James McKenzie. Remember Man Jackson. Remember Bridget Martin. Remember Malachi Mishu. Remember Alex and Julian today. Remember Melvin Peters. Remember Deacon Grant. Remember Sister Joy Leaf. Remember Elder Michael Crensaw. Remember Selena today. Remember Cynthia Lewis. Remember Janice Grizzly. Remember Willie Gillison today. God, stretch out your hand. Remember Mother Jill. Remember Mother Pride today, God. Remember Dr. Hayward. Lord, send your healing touch now in the name of Jesus. Remember my God, Bishop Alfonso Brooks. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Mother Shirley Clark. Remember, Mother Evangeline Jenkins. Remember, my God, hallelujah. Remember, Brother Wiggins today. Remember, Brother and Mother Sherrod. God, remember them in a special way. Remember, Deacon and Mother Garland today. In the name of Jesus, everybody that's sick everywhere, God, touch them. Remember, Pastor Jackson. Remember, Pastor Carr. Remember, Elder Tyson. Remember, Elder Smith today. In the name of Jesus, God, move and touch and deliver because we know that you're able. God, I'm praying today that you would stretch out your hand, Lord, to heal everywhere. God, remember Mother Foster. Remember, oh God, Henry J. Remember Brother Cliff today. God, remember, oh God, Mother Tanaj. Remember Mother Holman. God, remember, oh God, Sister Simmons today. Lord, touch and deliver and heal in the name of Jesus. God, remember them now because we know that you're able to heal. God, remember Catherine, Cynthia, Duchess. God, remember Mar let remember Tony today. Remember Maurice, God. Everybody that's sick everywhere, in every hospital, oh God, in every nursing home, rehab center. Lord, touch and deliver and heal now. In the name of Jesus, go to hospice and heal in the name of Jesus. Oh God, send your healing touch everywhere is needed. God, remember grieving families everywhere. God, I pray for everyone that is grieving a loss of a loved one, lost somebody they care about, lost somebody, oh God, for whom they are connected. And Lord, they're grieving at this moment, but I'm praying, God, that you would touch them and minister to their needs today in the name of Jesus. Remember, my God, the Pfeiffer family, the Rowe family, the Clark family. Remember Lady Staten and her family. Remember Jason and Leslie Manley. God, grieving people everywhere. God, touch them and strengthen them now. Remember the Middletons today, God. Remember, God, oh God, the Dockeries. Remember the White family. God, and send your help and your strength upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today that you would strengthen and deliver as only you can. I'm praying today, God, that you would help the people everywhere that are grieving. Remember, my God, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds. Remember, my God, the Carters, the Giles family. Remember Remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family. Remember, my God, Margie and the McLean Melvin family. God, remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family. Remember Sean and Monique today. Oh, God, and the Gary Porter family. Lord, every grieving family everywhere. God, remember the Alan Williams family and strengthen Trell and Ryan. Remember the Clark family, God, and strengthen Tommy and Michelle. Lord, stretch out your hand everywhere that there's a need today. Remember the Mays, the Dunlaps. Remember the Purdy's, the Sneed the Winninghams. Remember the Taylors, my God. And Lord, strengthen and touch them now. God, remember everybody that's grieving wherever they are. Lord, I'm praying that you would strengthen them. I'm praying that you would help them today. God, remember the Zapatas, the Felix family. Remember the Mannix, the Boodrums. Remember the Gleans, the Arthur, the Phillips. Every grieving family today, God. Lord, touch them, help them, strengthen them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, I'm praying today, hallelujah, for grace to be upon the body of Christ. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every mother, every missionary today, God, every first lady, every bishop, every elder, every pastor's child, every musician, singer, and psalmist, the entire body of Christ, help us to be strong. Help us not to be distracted. Help us to be focused on the mission today. Help us to be focused on the work this morning. That you might get the glory out of us. God, we want to please you. Lord, we want you to be satisfied 
with our lives. So God help us today. Remember first responders, essential workers. Remember my God, firemen, EMTs, and Father, cover the police today. Everywhere, God, everywhere they serve in cities, everywhere. I pray your favor to be upon them, cover and protect them. Remember students and teachers in schools everywhere, God. Lord, help them today. All school employees, God, cover and protect. Lord, everybody that's suffering, oh God, with this Omicron, we pray healing upon them. And we pray your protection from those of us who have not been infected. God, cover us today. Keep us, protect us, shelter us, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, keep us in the way, God. Lord, remember everybody today that needs help. Lord, remember this nation, this world, every nation upon the planet, God. Lord, heal us, God, in the name of Jesus. Heal the land from sickness. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from violence, from racism. Heal the land, my God. Oh, God, from injustice. Heal the land, God. Heal the land from perversion and sin. God, heal the land today, God. Help us. Bless our going out and our coming in. Keep us under your precious blood. And God will give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody help me give God the glory. Hallelujah, help me give God the glory. Help me give God the glory. Because he's worthy, he's worthy. Help me give God the glory today. Help me give God the glory today. Help me give God the glory today. He's worthy. My God of our praise, he's worthy of our supplication. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you today. This is my declaration for today. I must be focused for warfare. I must be focused for warfare. I cannot allow what I'm dealing with, what I'm going through, what is happening at the moment. I cannot allow Holler that to distract me from the assignment that God has placed upon my life. I must be focused for warfare. Hallelujah. I must be focused for warfare. Hallelujah. I must be focused for warfare. I cannot allow what I'm going through to distract me. I can't be entangled in the affairs of this life. I can't let them supersede the call of God upon my life. I must be focused, hallelujah, for warfare. I must be focused, my God, for warfare. God bless you today. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. I'm trusting that um, the biblical meditation and the prayer has blessed you and that your Monday is off to a good start. Thank you for bearing with my raggedy voice. Just preached a little bit too hard this weekend, so it's a little bit rough this morning, but God's going to help us. It's going to get better as the day goes on. But I thank God for you being with me this morning. Thank you for praying today with me. Thank you for praying for me, Holly, and thank you for being here today. You can stay connected with Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and also on Instagram. And so we want you to please access that and share it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for those who are on the conference call with us. God bless you and come back again anytime and share the number with somebody so that they are able to join with us in prayer. You can also stay connected to our podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. And all of this is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hallelujah. And you can share it with anybody body. Our radio broadcast airs every day, Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. on GregoryGospel.com. Every day, Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. on GregoryGospel.com. I want to thank 
everybody. And I really want to thank everybody who sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Thank you so much for your love and your kindness and your support. And if you want to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give electronically at our website, www www.refugetemplenc.com www.refugetemple n is in north c is in carolina.com and make your gift on the donate page if you have the Giblify app you can use Givelify. Just type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church to know you're in the right place and make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, you can give it dollar sign the number one refuge. Dollar sign the number one refuge. And we thank you for your support. I want to give a shout out to our morning prayer family. And I want to thank God for each of you that responded in First Lady's Day. You have done so much to make Lady Davis so encouraged along with the church family of Refuge Temple, along with her family, along with friends that came from everywhere to be with her yesterday. And your generosity has simply been wonderful. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Lady Davis thanks you. She is. She was overwhelmed by the support that was received. And we just thank God for all of you being a blessing to the woman of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And God bless you for what you've done to share with her in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. We thank God for each of you today. Stay connected with us. Continue to pray. See, voice is getting better already. Keep praying with us every day. Please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my dad. Pray for my sisters. Pray for my in-laws, my nieces, my nephews, our entire family. Please pray for us that God would continue to strengthen us in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless and pray one for another. Pray one for another and pray for every ministry that's connected with this morning prayer that God would continue to bless the ministry. I want to give a shout out to Refuge Temple Ministries in Alberta, Virginia. Refuge Temple Ministries in Alberta, Virginia, founded by the late Bishop Thurman Hargrove Sr. and led, hallelujah, in excellence by District Elder Ivan Hargrove. We thank God for him and Lady Hargrove and the Refuge Temple family, and we thank him for supporting morning prayer. So we thank God for each of you. God bless you and strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look, have a wonderful day. The grace of God be with you. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.